I'm Ray McCormack, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of cooling the hallway prior to your advance. Shea is going to open the nozzle down at the opposite end of the hallway. He's going to raise it back, and as it comes back, you're going to see how it cools the ceiling, gets the upper walls. These are the hottest portions of the hallway. By doing this technique, we're assured that we've cooled off the hallway and we can advance down to the fire area. As you can see, the stream divides itself evenly within the space, getting the upper walls wet and the ceiling wet. We've assured ourselves that we've hit the hottest part of our travel path. As the stream approaches more of a 90 degree angle, we're getting more of the wall wet. And the firefighter will be able to feel those droplets come back towards them. Once the stream is close to 90 degrees, the stream will actually go behind you. In case there was anything else that needed to be cooled, you're gonna get that as well. As you can see, this technique is very quick. The amount of water used is minimal. We're gonna cool this hallway off so we can get to the fire area. That's part of being aggressive, that's part of being smart.